Let's take a look at the C-Cat 48, which won multi-hull of the year 2023. This is Sea Catamaran's second launch after the Sea Cat 37. She was designed by Francois Peru from the Yacht Design Collective. The sail area to displacement ratio has been configured to place the Sea Cat 48 at the top of the performance cruise category. Construction is high quality, laminate with multi axial fabrics and epoxy. Carbon is used in high stress areas to stiffen the structure. The entire cockpit and saloon is designed along open lines. Here's the boat we took a look at at the International multi hole Show. She's 14.96 metres long and has a beam of 7.3 metres. As you can see she comes with sea foil dagger boards and the bridge deck clearance is high. These should give you a bit of lift at speed. She weighs 9.7 tonnes and fully loaded you can take her up to 12.5. The 48 comes with sporty twin aft helms and there's also an option for an interior helm station. She comes with an 80 square meter main, a 40 square meter self tacking solent, and a 53 square meter Genoa. The quality of the interiors is considerably higher than the competition. It's a great looking boat inside, Italian styling at its best. Comar yachts have plenty of experience building performance monohulls and now catamarans. The yard is based in Fremicino in Italy, which is about an hour away from Rome. There are two customizable options on the interiors. For Antica, which is a cleaner, sportier finish if weight reduction is your top priority. Or St. Bath, which is a more luxurious, comfortable finish. The finish in the heads is pretty impressive. There is less space down below because this is a performance cat. That's your trade-off, particularly in the forward cabins. The standard power unit is two 36 horsepower engines. The boat comes with one 300 litre freshwater tank and two 270 litre fuel tanks. The running rigging is very tidy and all the lines come back to the aft cockpit. Other sail options include a 125 square metre Jenica, a 90 square metre Code Zero and a 165 square metre Parasailer. The halyards for the light wind sails are managed from the mast. There's a hark and winch on the mast to help you. So that's the Sea Cat 48 with her inverse bows and sleek lines. She's quite a looker. I wouldn't say no.